Good morning, DT fans. It's National Soup Day, so grab a bowl and listen in. I'm Casey Montoya. In today's news, Facebook plans to announce new features. A new study shows that one in three drivers use their smartphone behind the wheel. GM unveils a redesigned Corvette. Kodak gets another shot at life. And MySpace relaunches with a little help from Justin Timberlake. The Corvette Stingray has come out of retirement. At the 2013 Detroit Auto Show on Tuesday, Chevrolet unveiled the latest iteration of its classic sports car, the 2014 Corvette Stingray. Packing a 6.2-liter direct-injected V8 motor, the completely redesigned VET pumps out 450 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque allowing drivers to rocket from 0 to 60 in under 4 seconds. Other upgrades include an ultralight aluminum frame, 12 adjustable vehicle systems to customize the driving experience, and an 8-inch color touchscreen console. The 2014 Corvette Stingray will be available in the second half of 2013, but the price and availability remain a mystery. Later today, Facebook is set to hold a press conference to announce new features or partnerships. Though it's the world's most popular social network refuses to reveal what it will discuss, many speculate it may introduce a new iPad app, a completely redesigned mobile experience, or a revamped approach to search. If you really want to know, though, you may want to send Mark Zuckerberg a question yourself. Facebook now charges 100 bucks for that privilege. In a survey of more than 2,000 drivers by McKinsey and Company, more than one-third of respondents admitted to using their smartphone while driving. Though calling is outlawed in many states, nearly 89% admitted to using their phone for voice calls. More than two-thirds, or 68%, said they use their phone for turn-by-turn -turn navigation, and 39% use for instant messaging or texting. Of the respondents, those who are younger than 40 tended to view in-car phone access as a vital activity. If you thought Kodak was dead, you're wrong, sort of. The company announced this week it will license its brand to JK Imaging, a private camera maker in Los Angeles. JK Imaging produces a wide range of cameras, from point and shoots to pocket video cameras and projectors. While it's not yet clear what kind of Kodak branded cameras we'll see, the company says we should expect to find new devices on shelves in the second quarter of this year. The new MySpace officially opened to the public today, and there's a new single from MySpace investor and singer Justin Timberlake to go along with the launch. The social network's Pinterest-like redesign was first announced this summer, but the website was only accessible with an invitation. As of today, anyone can sign up for the new MySpace, which puts a heavy emphasis on music and music discovery. To join, just visit the new MySpace.com. That does it for DT Daily. Check back with Digital Trends later today for a preview of next month's Mobile World Congress show. It's set to upstage CES this year with an enormous showing of smartphones and tablets.